Hey, hey, welcome back to this week's video. I am Danielle Dinkleman. I'm a national board certified health and wellness coach. And this month we are talking about why would you go whole food plant-based? What is the big deal about plant-based nutrition? Um, we are going to be soon in this series of videos introducing the recipes that I share in my healthier home family meal plan. And I'm excited to talk to you today about why you would even want to bother doing all of this. Now, if you are feeding yourself, if you are feeding a family, today we're talking about budget. So the amount of money that you spend on food, I'm telling you that you could spend less if you were subscribing to a whole food plant-based way of eating. So that's our third and final uh, why for going plant-based. We have two other reasons that we covered in previous videos. It's fantastic for your body. It's fantastic for the planet. And today it's fantastic for your budget. So let's dive into it. Now, I have the wonderful opportunity to actually give a guest lecture uh, at a class of future dietitians, future uh, home economics teachers at a university. And I love Zoom, doing that virtually was, was fantastic. And we talked about plant-based nutrition and why people go this direction. And it was fun to prepare a part of that uh, lesson for them about budgets because these are starving students, right? These kids um, are probably on a pretty tight budget for feeding themselves. So I, I did some did some research, um, but more than anything today, I want to share with you just the general principles to follow in order to make plant-based eating friendly on your budget and maybe to debunk some myths that a lot of people think that eating plant-based is very extravagant and very expensive and it doesn't have to be. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about how you can actually eat plant-based really expensively. You can pay for meal preparation and meal delivery, okay? You can kind of pay for the done for you or the prepared for you uh, services. Those, those are spendy, okay? Um, you could purchase a lot of prepared food at the grocery store. You could focus most of your foods on processed foods, stuff from Costco, stuff, um, in the, you know, at the health food store. Oh my goodness. If I bought all of my groceries at the health food store, I wouldn't be pretty. <laughs> I would not be on budget. So keep in mind that the more whole food plant-based you focus, that is where you're going to find the most budget-friendly food options. The more fancy you get, the more processed you get, uh, fake cheeses, fake meats, those are going to cost more. Um, I'll share a couple of them that I do buy on occasion that I keep them on occasion because they are more expensive is um, dairy-free ice cream. Okay. Um, when we're just doing something simple uh, at home, I will usually make my own like banana ice cream in the blender. Um, but if it's a special birthday, we, we usually kind of make it a little more special by getting like some vegan Ben and Jerry's to share. Okay. Now, you go down the ice cream aisle and you look at the normal ice cream next to the plant-based ice cream. And if you're only focused on budget, you might say, why on earth would I ever do that? Well, unfortunately, dairy is highly, highly subsidized in the United States. So the prices um, are skewed. Okay. So dairy ice cream uh, is, is actually quite affordable compared to the plant-based alternatives because the plant-based alternatives are not as heavily subsidized as dairy. So in those instances, I talked last time about voting with our dollar. I look at that as my, it's like my personal moment of activism and voting with my dollar and saying, hey, I care about plant-based options dairy-free options, and I'm going to vote with my dollar for this. I am going to, you know, increase the demand for this product. We know that as demand goes up, price comes down. So the more of us that hop on the bandwagon, 
the, the better off we're going to be in the future. So let's just keep increasing the demand for those plant-based products when it's appropriate for your health, right? We get to balance that. Okay, so just keep in mind that not all pricing that you're seeing is um, pure, <laughs> un, uh, you know, it's, it's being meddled with. The, the subsidies that are there for the dairy industry kind of skews the pricing. So um, another example of this is you are, again, side by side, you look at cow, you know, a gallon of 2% cow's milk next to, you know, you only can only get a half gallon or maybe three quarters of a gallon of plant-based milks these days. And it's more expensive to buy plant-based milks. So what do you do about that? Well, maybe you try to minimize the amount that you use. You know, I think with cow's milk, we're taught from a young age that we should just drink it straight and that it's good for our bones and we need all this stuff, which is not true. Uh, so take that for what it's worth, do your homework on that. So I find that we actually consume a lot less milk now that we went plant-based because we're not just drinking it straight. We really only use it for cereal in the mornings. Uh, and you don't have to have cereal for breakfast. There's so many other breakfast options in the plant-based kingdom. So if you really want to be on a tight budget, you don't have to have much plant-based milk in your life. It's de definitely possible. So we started with the bad news first. Those are the things that you might come across that, wow, this is not, this doesn't seem cheaper, Danielle. Sure, that's, that's true. You're going to run into some things. But let me share with you the, the bulk of the food you're going to be buying. The bulk of the food you're going to be eating on a whole food plant-based diet is your starches, okay? It is the, the rice, the beans, and the potatoes. And I want you to think, how much do those cost, okay? Like I said, I did a, just a little bit of research for you guys. If you were just to move away from meat-based protein and move over to plant-based protein, I'm gonna put some side-by-side -side numbers for you guys. If you buy a pound of beef at $5.50 a pound, which um, at the time of this recording, that was the lowest price I could find, um, you can compare that with a pound of black beans at 99 cents per pound, okay? So almost five to six times more expensive to go with the animal-based protein. What about chicken breast? I found pricing at about $3.50 per pound. You could swap that out and just focus on brown rice for your protein, and it's 99 cents a pound, okay? You could combine uh, beans and rice, and it still beats out the beef and the chicken, okay? So budget-wise, you know, the bulk of my calories, the bulk of my meals, the things I'm feeding my family uh, they are not that expensive. They are staples and they have been staples for many, many, many years. And many civilizations have, have subsisted on these types of foods. And thank goodness, they happen to still be some of the most affordable foods. Some people would call it poor man food, you know? So yeah, eat like a pauper. <laughs> like it's, it's good. It's so good for our health to eat this way. Um, again, if you don't know the first thing about how to eat this way, uh, go check out my recipe book on danieldinkleman.com. It's also available on Amazon. Just search my name on Amazon and you'll see that come up. Highly recommend just starting with some simple, simple meals and just getting your feet wet and knowing how to cook these foods. And they will keep you full. They will keep you healthy. They're better for the planet. And that wraps up our three reasons of why you might want to go plant-based better for your body, better for the planet, better for your budget. Next time, we're going to dive into where do I start? What does this even look like? And I'm going to walk you through a little bit of the recipes that are in this recipe book for you. So uh, if you haven't yet, make sure you click on the description below, download the resource guide that is there for you. Come and check us out at danieldinkleman.com and let me know if this video is helpful. Take care and we'll see you next time.